Hello, 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 and welcome to Teacher Tidbits. I'm Lady Long, and I'm excited to go through our 12 days of Christmas crafts with you all. Today's craft is all about these amazing tie-dye tree ornaments. Before we get started, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and hit the notification so you won't miss any of our craft posts. Let's jump right in. girls we are ready for our next Christmas craft and we're gonna show everyone how to do these watercolor ornaments the first thing that we have here are these globe do you remember what this is uh, ornaments. ornaments and we got these from the Dollar Tree they are not glass they're plastic so they're shatterproof and we have these do you remember what mommy told you these were it's a coffee cup it's a coffee filter good and I have about three lined up for each of us because we're all going to be doing one and then I have here some markers and I keep our markers in a clear pencil case it's just easier for us to get to then we're going to be adhering everything with this do you remember what this is called it's a filter <laughs> it's Mod Podge can you Mod say Mod Podge Yes, and this is going to be keeping everything together. So we're going to get started. Okay, you see here my three-year-old is opening up the marker. So all you're going to be doing is choosing any color marker. I, again, I do not want to stick to a particular color scheme. I really want everything to be child-led and child... Oh, God bless you. Created. Hey, Sole, you having fun with that ornament? We're going to be covering it up. I know you like it because it's translucent. It's clear. Come on, Sole, put the... Give Mommy the ornament. Let's choose a marker and let's start coloring our coffee filters. Blue. And I want you to... Blue. Sole, what color do you have? Purple. Thank you for putting the tops back on it. I want, do you need help? I would like for you to color your entire coffee filter. So put colors all over it, okay? I don't want to see any white. I don't want to see any white. Color the entire coffee filter with your markers. So now that everything is colored, we're ready to move on to the next step. And you're simply going to need some lukewarm water and some water droplets. I'm gonna show you guys what happens once you drop some water onto the coffee filter. It dissolves the water and it mixes all the colors together, giving it this amazing tie-dye effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the girls have fun creating the tie-dye on the coffee filter. So I wanted to make sure that I stopped to show you guys how everything is kind of coming together. You can see how the tie-dye effect is really happening right before your eyes. And the kids, when they do it, love to see how everything just transforms. So I wanted to show you guys what they look like once they are done and dried. And these coffee filters are a couple days old. I made quite a few because we're gonna be making quite a few of these for our tree to fill in. But this is how they look once they've been set to the side and dried at least 24 hours. I do wanna show you guys that I do have some bleeding on my hands from the markers. It does come through the coffee filters, but it will be clean that day if you just wash your hands and wash in the night by the next day your hands should be completely clean but this is how the tie-dye looks you guys once it is set to the side and dried these look amazing they're super easy to do and I love how they come out every single time so let's move on to the next step so the first thing you're going to do is fold your coffee filter in half and then fold it in half again. And you're going to cut the tip of that coffee filter so that you can slide it over the bulb. You're just gonna use some Mod Podge to adhere it. Now this is the larger bulb. So it's going to take me about two to cover it completely. But with the smaller ones, you would only need one large coffee filter. So I'm having the girls cover the entire bulb with Mod Podge. And I'm going to set it aside to let it dry overnight for 24 hours. 
So this is the completed ornament, you guys, and I absolutely love them. I love how they turned out. I love how not every pattern in it is exactly the same. And I love how simple they were to do. And my kids were really able to be hands-on and really complete this mostly on their own. I do want to show you guys that before they dried, we did add some glitter. If you don't know by now, I will add glitter to any and everything that I can, but this is completely optional. I do want to note that when they dry with the Mod Podge, they do dry hard and there's a little shine to them. I love how they turned out. We're going to be doing more of these with the smaller bulbs and I will be showing you guys at the end, the large reveal, how all our crafts came together on our Christmas tree. So you guys want to make sure that you're watching this series all the way to the end. We will be posting 12 separate videos of our DIY Christmas decoration ideas. But we want to hear from you along the way. Leave some comments down in the comment section below. Let us know if you're going to be giving this a try. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Use the hashtag 12 days of Christmas crafts so we can follow along with you. At the end of the series, we will do a reveal video where we show you guys our Christmas tree with all of our ornaments and decorations and how we pull it all together. I can't wait to reveal our Christmas theme. If you guys think that you've already figured it out, leave a comment down below and let us know what you think our Christmas theme is this year. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Teacher Tidbits. Happy learning!